Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on importing text data into Dream 3D. The primary method of getting text data into Dream 3D will be the Import ASCII Data Filter. Before starting, ensure your data is column formatted where each attribute ar array is in a single column. These are typically CSV style files. Next, be sure you know the dimensions of your 3D and 2D volume so that we can inform Dream 3D how large geometry to create. And lastly, if your columns are not labeled with a header row, be sure you know which column represents which data. Alrighty, let's get started. Here we have Dream 3D running with an empty pipeline. Before we can import the data, there needs to be somewhere within the data structure for the data to reside. This is accomplished by adding the filter Create Data Container into the pipeline. Next, we need to describe the geometry of the 3D volume to Dream 3D. We do this by adding the Create Geometry Image and setting the number of voxels in each direction. We can also set the origin and resolution in each direction if desired. Now that we have the preliminary set up, we can go ahead and add the Import ASCII Data Filter. After adding the filter, we need to select our file and allow the system to do an initial scan of the file. This may take a little bit for large files or slower computers. When complete, the first 50 lines of the file will be displayed in the table. The first choice we need to make is how the data is separated or delimited. For this particular data set, tabs are used. After the selection is made, the data preview should expand to show the data in appropriate columns. To proceed to the next page of the wizard, click the Continue button. On this wizard page, there are two separate tabs to make selections or input values. If your data does not immediately start at line 1, select the line of the file where the data starts. If your file already has each column labeled with header text, select the My Data Has Headers and set the line number. If you just have the data, like the data set we are using for this example, then select the My Data Does Not Have Headers and click the Edit Headers button to bring up the Add Headers dialog box. Enter all of the headers for each of the columns. Note that each line must be filled in and must be unique. After the headers are set correctly, then we can proceed to set the data type for each column and if we want to import that specific column of data. For this example, we are going to skip three of the columns and set the other columns of data to their correct type. After setting everything on the Data Formatting tab, click on the Attribute Matrix Settings tab. This tab gives the user the choice to import into an existing attribute matrix or create a new one. For this tutorial, we are going to have the filter create a new one. We just need to select the data container that will hold the attribute matrix and set the attribute matrix type to cell. We need to add two more dimensions and set the value of each dimension to match the image geometry that we created in the previous filter. After these settings are complete, click the Done button. Lastly, we insert the right Dream 3D data file into the pipeline and set an output file. When all is ready, we execute the pipeline. And after the pipeline is complete, we can open the resulting XDMF file in Paraview. After the filter is complete, locate the file in the file system and open the XDMF file using Paraview so that we can visualize the results. This concludes this short video on how to import text data into Dream 3D. Thank you for watching.